Best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. Three wheel is a lot of fun to do. It can be a little bit complicated. So, this episode uh, for the JV, we're going to be breaking down the basics of three wheel. I'll be teaching you how to get into three wheel, how to do some jumping, and just get started with the basics of three wheel. And then for the varsity, we're doing a really cool switch, which is called the Mickle. And it's just a lot of fun to do. You can have a, you can be real creative with it. And this will get you going into three wheel and you know, three wheel is something that takes a lot of practice, but once you get it, you really enjoy it. The JV skill. To do Chinese three wheel, you need to have three people, and important to remember, have all three ropes be the same length. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch inside handles. Nick and I are going to switch here, and then Kelsey and I are going to switch. Now, it's important that you remember whenever you get into Chinese three wheel that you have one rope that's behind, and then these two ropes would be in front. So you just have to make sure that that's set up properly, otherwise three wheel is not going to work. So once you're in this position, we're just going to show you a basic jump, and then we're going to show you how to do some full turns inside a three wheel. So the basic jump, they're going to be doing regular Chinese two wheel turning. They'll be just doing the swimming motion. Me, on the other hand, since I'm in the middle, I'm holding these two ropes, I'm going to actually go at the same time with both my arms, and they'll both be jumping these ropes. So what we'll do is we'll say, ready, set, go. Rope comes over. We start jumping, and we're all nice and relaxed. We're keeping an even pace. Kelsey and Nick jump together. I'm on the off rope. And once we got the basic jump down, it's ready to start doing some turns. Now to do a basic full turn, the outside jumpers is just like in two wheel. They're going to turn towards the inside. So when they count it, they're actually going to go at the same time. So we're going to say, ready, set, go. They both turn to the middle. and. What they're going to do is with Nick's arm, since his left arm is going to be down, he's going to turn, bring his right arm down. He's going to bring his left arm up and then bring his left arm down again, and he's going to be back forward. He does not jump at all during this turn. All he does is just go basically the motion here. He goes down, spin, down, and then he finally jumps. Kelsey on the other side is going to do the exact same thing, except she's going to go towards her right, which is towards me. She's going to go right arm down. Then she's going to swing her left arm down. Then she's going to bring her left arm back up. And she's back forward again. So the outside turns, all you do is just make sure you keep your arms in a steady motion. You can pretty much just think you're kind of doing a windmill thing around, and you're back to where you started from. Now, the middle jumper is a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start jumping. I'm going to bring my hands together. I'm going to bring them down like I'm doing a side swing. I'm going to jump over the rope, turn, bring my arms up again, and then bring them under them. So mine's a little bit different since I'm actually going to jump over the rope. It doesn't matter which way I can go. I can go to my left or my right. It's the exact same thing. If I go to my left, Nick and I are going to be jumping the blue rope together. If I went to my right, Kelsey and I would be jumping the yellow rope together. So you just have to remember to do a nice big jump over that rope while you turn. What these are going to look like inside the ropes, we'll start jumping. And we'll call it for them. Ready, set, go. They both turn towards the middle. No jumps. And then I do my turn and jump and come back up. So that is your basic three wheel and how to do some turns inside a three wheel. The varsity skill. For the varsity skill in three wheel, we're going to show you what's called the mickle. This is a real fun switch to do. And what we're going to start off doing, Nick and Kelsey are going to step over the ropes so we can walk through this. My position in the middle, I'm going to walk forward and I'm going to become an end jumper. I'm going to bring my right arm down, which is the blue rope. And Kelsey is going to turn t t this direction and she is going to jump into the middle. And Nick is going to turn all the way down at the end, and he's going to be the only one jumping backwards. So we all go back to where we started from. We start here. Nick's going to go to the back here, turn this direction, and he's going to be jumping backwards. I'm going to go to this end. I'm going to be jumping forward. Kelsey will be in the middle, and she'll be jumping forward. Now, it's important to note here that me moving from the middle to the outside, I'll be jumping from a middle jumper position to an outside jumper position, which is means I'm going to have to go from two arms together 
to swimming motion. Kelsey's going to be moving from the swimming motion into two arms together. So you have to remember that when you're doing that motion, that that's what you'll be doing. Nick, since he's going to be going backwards, we're going to be scooping this blue rope first. So he's just going to turn, drop his right arm down, bring that rope under Kelsey so she can jump. What will it look like when we do it? We start jumping. And I'll call it here. Ready, set, go. We step out. And we're now into a different position. Now, the nickel's a lot of fun because you don't have to just stop here. It's not like you stop here, you bow, and you're finished with your routine. You can actually take it to the next step, which would be another nickel. Now, what's going to happen is these ropes are going to come over. Kelsey's now going to go all the way down to this end. Nick's going to step out to this end. I'm going to step into the middle. And we're right back to the position we started from, except we're facing the opposite direction. Now, really quick here, just so we can show you what's going to happen beyond this. Once we get to this position, we're where we started. All we do is we do the exact same nickel again. I'm going to step out to the end. Kelsey go to the middle. Nick goes to this end. He's backwards. We take a jump. And then we take another turn, do that nickel again, and we're back to where we started from. So it's four nickels in a row. We'll get you all the way around in a circle to where you started from. So one more time walking through. The rope's going to come over. We're going to say, ready, set, go. We move. Kelsey goes to the middle. We get there. We take a jump. We turn again. I go back to the middle. We take a jump. We turn again. Kelsey's in the middle again. Rope comes over. And I come back to the middle, and we're finished. So what will it look like when we do it? We're going to go. And each position, when you first try it, you probably want to call your ready, set, go, move. Ready, set, go, move. We're going to do it with just one jump. Once you get a little better, you just get there, do one jump, move to your next position, one jump, and then so forth until you're back to where you started from. And it looks like this. Ready, set, go. And that is the Mickle inside of Three Wheel. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.